Hello everyone, I am going to do um, part two of the tutorial for the grocery bag holder. <clears throat> We're going to do the part where we have to put the hair tie in the other part and then the little handle. Alright, so we've made our slip stitch and then we're going to chain one, two, okay? Now we're going to put the hair tie along the back side, so like on the inside of your, whole, of your bag, okay? Alright, so we are going to go <clears throat> into that same stitch like we've been doing the whole time. Make sure our hair tie is above the hook. We're going to wrap the yarn over, we're going to pull it through, so you should have your hair tie. Okay, and then we're just going to do a single crochet. So, there you go, in your hair tie. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. And make sure you don't miss any. And it will probably start getting pretty difficult for you guys if you did do the 45. If you did a little bit less, it probably won't be as hard, but you're going to have to keep stretching your hair tie out to make sure you get it all the way around. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, and I'll come back when I'm a little bit closer to the end. Alright, I'm probably only about halfway at this moment, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. See, I've already pulled it a couple times, but I have all of this yet to do, and the hair tie isn't quite, you know, stretching out for that. So, here's what I've been doing. I've just been grabbing the hair tie and holding on to that stitch, and then just pulling, and then it just does that, and it kind of does stay in place, so makes it a little bit easier and then you can just do your next single crochet and I've just been doing that. Alright. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop it again. Alright, so I've done my very last one and I'm going to go ahead and do my slip stitch. Alright, and now <clears throat> you should have and all your single crochets all the way around that hair tie. <coughs> Excuse me. Lost my voice for a second there. Alright. Now we are going to go ahead and chain 30. Now you can do more or less depending on the size of the handle that you want. On this one I did 30. Alright, now that we've chained 30, you attach it to the other side here. It doesn't have to be precise, but pretty even. Just go into one of the single crochets. Alright. And then you just slip stitch. Okay. And then you can end it here. You know, by what I did, I don't know if you can tell, I went through and I did another single crochet just to make it a little bit stronger. 
and I'm sure you could do that a couple more times if you wanted to to make it a nice thick handle. Um, another thing I was thinking about doing, depending on how you want to do your bag, you could even chain more and put them aside so your bag hangs. Kind of like more on top like that, so your bag holder would hang a little bit more. Um, I don't know, but these things are kind of fun because I think you can do more with them than just bags. I know um, Stacy had put in hers. Um, she would put her yarn in it, which was what I was doing because it's kind of like the perfect little thing because when it's not finished, I, I was putting the yarn in there. It was perfect. So I think that's funny. But it's one of those things where you can just make it your own, do what you want with it. I will be making another one that's going to have some really pretty fun colors in it. And I'll be showing you guys that one. But I hope you enjoyed making this. It's really simple, pretty easy. All right, well, thanks for watching. And um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And like the video so that I know that you watched it and you liked it. Um, <clears throat> if you send pictures of the ones that you've made, um, you can send them to my Facebook. That would be great. Also, um, I would love to see what little fun twists you put on them. I know Stacy's doing a multicolor one. Um, and speaking of Stacy, don't forget to subscribe to her channel. I always have her link down below. Well, thanks for watching and a happy crafting.